All right, I'm going to show you how I'm doing the wee full pregnancy checker test. We've got a mare that we had her bred, but we're not sure if she's pregnant or not, so we want to find out. So I took a urine sample, which was not easy to do, but we might make a video of that sometime. I'll show you how to get the urine from the mare. And I'm using the wee full 120 uh, urine test. I think they make it in New Zealand. I got it from Colorado. And this is the things that come in it. We have two pipettes. You have a urine dilutant. And you have the little test well. So I've got a urine sample. This is some of it. First thing you do is you squeeze the bulb on this pipette and you get a little bit of urine up in it. Just in this bottom part of it. Then you take this urine and you put it in the dilutant right here. Squeeze it on in there. Easy peasy. Set that aside. Put the cap back on. Come here cap. Turn it upside down twice to make sure it's mixed up real good. Then you take the urine from here that has been diluted, squeeze this other pipit bulb, and get you a straw full. Then you take this, let me put the cap back on so I don't spill this. Take this pipette and very slowly, one drop at a time, put drops in this little well. And there's one. And they say don't flood the well, so do this real slow. I found it took three drops. And I put in one more. And just be patient, wait. What you're waiting for is um, there's gonna be a, it's gonna soak into this uh, little piece of paper, whatever, down here. And uh, you'll see it coming down there soon. <sighs> really, it will. Um, by the way, this everything has to be at room temperature. They say to keep your checker kit in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it and then take it out like an hour before you're going to actually do the test to make sure it comes to room temperature. And your urine, you know, that's going to be kind of warm coming out of the mare, so you want to let it get to room temperature too, so it's got to cool off while your uh, test kit warms up. Here I'm going to put in another drop. Last time it just went a little faster. But we should soon be seeing moisture coming up into this uh, little line area. Ah, there, there, there. You see a little bit coming now? Got a shadow over that a little bit. But they say that uh, you want it to get up to the what they call the C line, which it's hard to tell here, but there's a C at this little mark and a T at that mark. Here it comes. Yeah, coming right up to the C line. So that's enough. Then we're going to wait 10 minutes, and if it has two lines, she's not pregnant. If it has one, she is. And this looks like it's not even going to take 10 minutes. I can already see two lines are coming up. There's a darker one at the C, and the T has a, one, a faint one, but within 10 minutes, that's going to be pretty dark too. So, no baby for us today, but that's how you do it. Thank you. You can turn it off. Thank you. <laughs>